Rock the Casbah tells the story of aging rock manager Richie Lands stranded in Afghanistan when he stumbles upon a local Afghan girl with a beautiful voice. For the most part, the film is pretty slow and dry. There was a few laughs, but overall it was pretty boring. And even though the film is directed by Barry Levinson, who's worked on great films like Rain Man and Good Morning Vietnam and has experience directing great comedic talent such as Robin Williams, it didn't help this film. Bill Murray plays the same unlikable scheming character that we've seen in his past roles, except this one was much worse. He has no redeeming qualities. The film sets up that his wife thinks of him as a dirtbag so much so that he has to talk to his daughter in secret outside of her bedroom window. And it seems that his love for his daughter is supposed to be what makes audiences care about Richie Lance, but it just doesn't work. When he's in Afghanistan trying to be a success with this girl, he doesn't seem to do it for his daughter. It feels like he's just doing it to make money for himself. He's cutting deals with everyone. He doesn't appear to have changed in that regard. And although it appears that he's become a better manager by the end of the film, caring more for his talent, the film concludes with the finales of Afghan Star and the girl singing. His storyline is never resolved. He doesn't come back to America and be a better manager to Zoe Deschanel's character and let her sing her own songs and connect more with his family. And as a result, I just didn't feel for Richie Lance. I didn't care about him. And that made the story uninteresting to me. Additionally, for a film titled Rock the Casbah and with music as a central theme, the soundtrack was pretty lacking. And spoiler, there was no Clash. So if you were expecting Clash, they didn't play the Clash. I don't recommend that you run out to see this film. Even if you're a big fan of Bill Murray, you'll likely be disappointed. It's more of the same and nothing special.